many of the early risers across the country got to witness this spectacular lunar eclipse this morning. Now, I was unable to get the footage that I wanted to get due to a tree line and my positioning where I'm sitting. But regardless, a lot of other people came through and got all kinds of amazing shots here. Some people, depending on where they were at, um, had more daylight coming through. Others had mountains and tree lines blocking as well. But even though the tree lines in this one, you can see the size of the moon here coming out of Minnesota. Wow. It's like up in Montana. The moon can get so big. It's just amazing. Also have some more amazing information here to share with you. On top of the blood moon, Believe it or not, we have a shot at getting a glimpse of Halley's Comet for about a 24-hour window. This is going to happen in the skies of October 21st and October 22nd. And it's just going to lead a lot of stargazers out there to grab their telescopes and want to see this. They're stating that Halley's Comet, which is not expected to return until 2061, and is was last seen here in 1985-1986, it will be making a close encounter, so to speak, visually, to where we're not going to be able to see Halley's Comet itself, but its tail is so long and so vast that you will be able to see the cosmic dust particles from Earth lighting up in the atmosphere. They're stating that it's going to rain down on Earth about 60 kilometers up above the surface, causing a dramatic meteor display. So, October 21st, October 22nd, be expecting a show in the skies. And they're stating that it's going to be coming from debris off this trail that's behind Halley's Comet. And that it's actually going to be lit up and we're going to be close enough for this brief period in time to be able to look up and, and catch this. So, they're stating around 25 shooting stars per hour could fall during the best moments. So, it should be a, a decent show. Nonetheless, I'll leave links. And until next time, this has been Tapu7. Eyes to the skies.